The Blue Devils thriller with Belmont ended two hours ago, but there's this pesky NCAA regulation that says you can't show highlights of a game until all the games are over. So I'd be breaking the law if I showed you Duke highlights right now. Unless I stole a couple of my daughter's dolls. Let's do this! Duke and Belmont, the doll version. This is Belmont's Alex Renfro. He was unconscious. He hit threes. Let's bring that music up. He drove to the bucket over big guys like Brian Zubek. Look at him. He's the guy in the big mask. Belmont was leading with less than a minute left, but Gerald Henderson, who we will show is a frog, because he was jumping out of the building. He had a career-high 21, including the play of the game. 13 seconds left. Goes through the entire defense and gets a finger roll. And look at him. He's going nuts and riveting. Okay, but one second left, Justin Hare, a half-court shot to tie it. Duke fans, freaking out! Is it gonna go in? No, oh, he just barely misses it! And the Blue Devils celebrate, it's devastating for Belmont. Oh, and then they, they, they pile on afterwards. My favorite part, listen to Tom, this is his doll right here, he doesn't want me to throw it. Dude, this is kind of expensive. Uh, Tom, I'm sorry I threw your doll. I really am. The Duke goes on to win 71 to 70. Coach K after the game says his team was prepared, but Belmont is that good. We were ready to play. I, I, you won't hear any of our players say that we overlooked them. There's no way. Uh, watching them on tape, they looked really good. Watching them in person, they're even better. Still unclear who Duke will play. Zona and West Virginia, a tight game in the second half. The winner of that gets the Blue Devils.